guys, I'm Chase and this is Brian with UTV Stereo. We're here today to show you the XTC Power Product Kit. Um, we're going to do a quick install, show you what it's all about. Um, we use these on every install that we do. We absolutely love them. Um, it's basically a way to run six circuits in your vehicle. The whole system self-contained, real easy to install, easy to use. Uh, it works with five pin Carling rocker switches. They plug directly into these connectors here. Everything's fused. You got all your outputs. You get four high current relays built in here so you can run light bars, lighting, um, some, of, some of your high current accessories. But we're gonna show you the install real quick. And all right, Brian, let's get going. And we're doing this on a Polaris Razor, uh, four seat by the way. We also have these kits for Can-Am, uh, X3s, a lot of different vehicles. XTC products has actually a ton of products across the board from turn signal kits to uh, they make these systems with strobe modules built in, makes your car go crazy, you can flash everything, it's pretty cool. All right, I'll take over there, Mason, thanks. So this black box, we generally on the, the Polaris Razor, we mount it up to the steering column like so. You just use self-tapping screws, it fits there beautifully. Leaves room for amplifiers or anything else that we might be putting in. I'm going to go around to the other side here. Now we take this Torx bit out right here, lift the, fit, the fender up, and then we can weasel our wires through there for this fuse block that we're about to mount. And while he's mounting that fuse block, here's the part number. The PCS 64 NS, which means no switches. So we we generally add the switches on later. That way, if you want red, blue, whatever color scheme you want to go with, whatever whatever switch you're actually running, whatever picture you want on the rocker switch, you can add that at, at your preference. Need a hand there to hold her, you got it. All right, and one screw's good for the video, Brian, if that helps. So we got the fuse block mounted. Now this power feed, you can see it right here. That we pre-installed, it actually runs all the way back to the battery. on this car is under the back seat. <clears throat> Let me show you real quick. What I'm talking about. This right here, it's a built-in circuit breaker. It comes in with the kit. So we run our power right to the battery. Um, that power supply runs up through the console. And then you saw the other end back on the fuse block, block that Brian's working on. All right. Get that seat back on the wall. Now this bus bar right here that Brian's mounting, that's your outputs from the XTC kit. So basically the six switches 
you've got six terminals there and that's going to be your positive feed for the outputs. Now if you notice what he's doing, the entire, the entire dash system plugs in with this one plug right here. So if you need to get back into the dash at a later time, you don't have to disconnect or unplug every single switch. You literally just take that one white plug, unplug it, and take the dash right off and put it on the bench. Plug your rocker switch in just like that. Now we've already gone through and ran wires through the cage, like you can see right here. I think on this car we did some whips in the back, some dome lights. I'll show you those real quick while he's doing that. Got some dome lights mounted there. All the wires are in the cage. You can see kind of where we jump them like that. We did some quick light in the back there. These things are pretty cool because these are little shorty whips. Obviously they have six and eight or four and six footers. It's kind of like an air hose fitting. But the LEDs in the base through a fiber optic whip, that's how the light works. Low current, I think they're like 0.3 amps or 0.5 amps a whip. So they don't run your batteries down very fast. Kind of hard to see with the camera here, but we added those extra wires, which those run right to our accessories through the cage. And not to rush your brain, but my phone's about to die. So hopefully we get this whole video. Now there's two feeds right here. One's, one's a black, one's a yellow. Those will light up your lower LEDs on the rocker switches. Black needs to get hooked to ground. Yellow is your accessory wire. Power when the key's on, which is going to light the lower LEDs on the switches when the key's on. The upper LED will light up when the, the switch is engaged and the circuit's live. And every Razor 2014 and newer has this bus bar up here. All the Can Am X3s have them. They're inside the center console on the passenger side below the shifter. I think we should be live. Is that everything, Brian? Now the fun part, flip the switches. Dome lights are on, whips are on. Oh, you're gonna blind us with the light bar. Go ahead. Awesome. And that light bar, there's no relay we, didn't, we wired up. We ran direct power to the bus, the, the XTC kit. We're use, the relay for the light bar is inside this box right here. But yeah, there's, there's a rundown for you. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, we're UTV Stereo. We're in Arizona. Um, we have these kits on our website. You can call us anytime or message us on Facebook. We're always happy to help. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.